In this video, I'll be covering one of the craziest meme coin stories within the cryptocurrency space. This story involves a scam developer taking advantage of loyal community. Is this a story about Robin Hood stealing from the rich and giving to the poor? Or is this a hyped up story to get more attention from the pole shank community? Stay tuned to the end to get our thoughts and opinions on Anon. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Verse Crypto Channel, the most savage and degenerate crypto channel out there. My name's Kyle's Chris and I'll be your host today. Before you off this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications so we keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information within the space. Now let's hop right in this video. Pulse Chain is exploring with new project development. Developers are launching decentralized exchanges, bridges, yield farms, and meme coin projects. The Pulse Chain development will go down as an important piece of history within the decentralized finance movement. On the flip side, Pulse Chain has been vulnerable to predatory developers. We have seen the launch of scam tokens and rug pools. These scam tokens have extracted an enormous amount of value from the community, leaving many retail traders fearful of the launch of new tokens. Now, this past month, I came across a truly fascinating story that captured the hearts and the minds of the Pulse Chain community. It's a tale very similar to Robinhood, except with meme coins. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and let's jump into some cryptocurrency folklore. And if you're Hex Maxi, don't forget to smash the dislike button. Daddy really does appreciate you. To start off, the Pulse Chain launched on May 12, 2023. Around the same time, a trading group called Degens Anonymous was created for retail traders to trade safely on Pulse Chain. Community members use this chat as a great way to connect with project developers launching innovative projects on Pulse Chain. Well, at least that's what they thought. This all changed on May 17th, 2023. An anonymous developer launched a token called Anon and dropped the contract address into the trading group's lobby. The ticker Anon was named after the trading group Degens Anonymous as a way to gain traction within the community. The total token supply is 21 million tokens. The contract was verified and renounced. The project checked all the right boxes for a meme coin with potential. Well, at least that's what they thought. 15 minutes after the launch of this token, that same developer sold 7 million tokens at a $2,000 market cap, which was around $300 at the time. This dropped the market cap of Anon to $800. The mysterious scam developer owned 33% of the supply and completely drained the liquidity pool. It's astonishing to see that someone would do this much work for a couple hundred dollars, but hey, that's crypto. Now, most people lick their wounds, count their losses, and move on from the situation. But something truly special happened right after that event. Members within the Degens Anonymous community got together and started buying back into the project, pumping the market cap from $800 to $100,000. That means the token price appreciated around 15,000% over the course of one week. Now, the story doesn't stop here. It's clear that we see the formation of a new community. Since the launch of this token, members have been taking active roles on the marketing side. They launched an X account, website, and NFT collection. On top of that, they are absolutely dominating the meme space on X. Every time I go on social media, my feed is spanned with Anon memes. Not only did the community take an active role in marketing, but they are also using the story to educate new cryptocurrency traders about potential scams. The blockchain is arguably one of the greatest technologies we have ever created. The censorship resistant measures in place ensure our basic human rights are protected, but on the downside, it's often plagued with scammers. The Anon community established a list of roles named the 12 step programs for Anons. Each of these pillars reflects measures that outline the overall mission of the Anon community and their impact on decentralized finance space. In my opinion, this is a list of rules that everyone should follow when navigating the DGEN space. So let's start off with step one, 
Step one, acknowledge our lack of control over our speculative ventures, recognizing our involvement had become unmanageable. Step two, embrace the belief that a project greater than ourselves could restore our financial well-being. Step three, make a conscious decision to entrust our will and lives to that transformative project. Step four, conduct a thorough and fearless inventory of, it, of our decentralized finance activities. Step five, admit to the DeFi gods, ourselves, and trust an individual the precise nature of our mistake. Step six, become entirely ready to allow the DeFi gods to eliminate our character flaws. Step seven, humbly request the DeFi gods to remove those defects of character. Step eight, compile a list of projects that had harmed us and become willing to reconcile with them. Step nine, make a direct amends to our financial standing. Step 10, c continue to self-reflect on our project involvement promptly and many mistakes when identified. Step 11, employ more rigorous, do your own research and not financial advice to enhance our awareness. Step 12, having experienced financial enlightenment through these steps, we shared our insights with less experienced individuals and apply these principles in, in all our financial endeavors. Each of these pillars or steps has a great message behind them. Some of them are extremely funny, but others provide valuable information. When navigating the decentralized finance space, you must be extremely careful. Not everyone is here to be your friend, and there will always be scammers on the internet using creative ways to steal from you. Please, always do your own research, and if it sounds too good to be true, it might not be the best play. As for this story, the Anon community has achieved something truly special. What started out to be a huge tragedy turned into a decentralized finance movement. In less than a week, a community of around 300 members managed to bring back a token to life and absolutely wreck the scam developer. I would make a bet that same developer probably bought in after watching his plan blow up in his face. As for the Anon token, this is a meme token, so the value is driven by the community. There is an extremely loyal community constantly promoting this token across social media. If the community continues to grow, we could potentially see Anon go to new levels we have never seen before. On top of that, Anon's a meme token with a story. Everyone in the world loves comeback stories. If this story gains traction, we could see something magical happen here. Until then, I'll keep a close eye on Anon token. Well guys, that's it for the video. My name's Chaos Chris. I love every single one of you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.